frame rate lag, eh? Is this what you give me? This game is literally awful, guys. Frame rate lag is like the fact that it even exists, man. Almost every single time. All right, let's do this again. Today I'll be doing Road to Pro with Apathy TK Episode 6, my friends. And basically I'll be talking about my career. And I left off during PAX time when I joined TK. And this was during Ghost as well. So a lot of you guys may not remember this, but if you do, you're the best. So I ended up joining TK. It was me, Sharp, Dito, and Goon at the time, I believe. And then Dito ended up leaving to join Face Black, which at the time was formal censored. Dito and Saints, and I believe we ended up picking up Nezlo. Now, I felt like this squad had a lot of potential. You know, we would play online. I believe we won like two 2Ks two together. You know, we were doing really good. And the next event that was coming up was MLG X game. We we practiced a lot, you know, we were looking nice. Uh, didn't know how we would replace, but I was really confident in my skill and our ability to perform well as a team. Well, motherfuckers, we ended up placing second. I'll show you guys the medal real quick. Who cares about the free for all? Look at this beauty. Silver medal, X games. This thing is, uh, it's a beauty. What can I say? We ended up losing to Optic 3-2, which honestly was really heartbreaking. That's the was 6-4. Me, personally, I could have played better during that last map. I didn't play too well. I ended up, like, 4-7. and seven. You know, I wasn't too happy with my performance on the last map. Well, we somehow almost did it. Unfortunately, like I said, we did it. And they just smacked us like that. So basically, there was another league online for champ bracket at MLG Anaheim. And we were looking pretty bad. We looked like we weren't going to place well. It looked like we weren't going to make it. We made it by like one or two wins. Like we clutched the fuck up. Like if someone were to ask me how hard we clutched up, I'll say like Sonic hard. I'm serious guys. We clutched up so hard. It was insane. So we made champ bracket for MLG Anaheim. And I thought we were going to do good. But unfortunately, you know, things just didn't go our way. So I don't want to put anybody on the spot, of course. But a lot of you guys remember Gunjar. Well, at this time, he just started dating Berkster. She was coming to her first event. And I felt like it wasn't the best thing. Just because a lot of people wouldn't understand that girls can sometimes hold you back. And the reason I say that is because my man did not play too well. And it was more than just her obviously being there. I just felt since it was the first time seeing each other. You know, he put a lot of time, like spending time with her. You know, he wasn't sleeping much. You know, he came into the matches looking tired. And it's understandable, dude. My, my boy was getting laid or whatever it was, you know. And that event kind of affected us because... He was basically tired the whole time. You know, he didn't have the same energy. And it's not like he played completely bad. He actually didn't even play too bad. But it just it wasn't cutting out for me. I wanted a team that every single player was was had the fire to win. Every single player wanted to win so bad they would do anything. I felt like Gianaheim, I just didn't feel that with Gunjar. And you know, I got two really good offers, which I'll tell you right now. So I got offered a spot on Phase Black. Which was Sensor, Formal, Saints, and Dito at the time. And also a spot on Envy. And of course, Envy was Nameless, Merc, JCap, and Study. So they both want me to pick me up. And that was honestly was a really hard decision. But I decided to go with people that I had recent success with. AKA Sensor, Dito, Saints, you know. You know the people, the, the, the basic people. And as much as I wanted to go with Envy, just because they're such a, like, a big org. You know, everyone knows Envy. It's like such a prestigious org. And even though FaZe at the time, of course, was still pretty big. They weren't as big as they were now. And, you know, it was kind of, it was a hard decision, dude. Anybody can, can say the same. Like, obviously now, now, you know, if someone asks you who, who like, what org would you be, rather be on or what team. Phase or Envy, people say Phase, but during Ghost time, Envy was kind of running shit. So it was pretty funny, and I feel like I should give you guys this little detail just because I find it really funny. It shouldn't, it shouldn't go unnoticed. But you know, during the time when I was trying to decide, you know, I, I kind of already decided I was gonna go Phase, but it wasn't for sure yet. And Nameless tweeted out, he's like, "Where is Poseidon? Where are you?" And like, you know how he's considered Zeus, and I was like, kind of considered Poseidon. Like when we would talk, you know, he would call me Poseidon, and it was just, a, it was such a cheesy but funny thing. Now the fact that he subtweeted that was just hilarious. But I ended up going with FaZe, of course. Now the funniest thing out of this whole situation is, you know, not putting anyone on spot again, but Formal wanted me to, once I joined, Formal wanted me to leave with him on Envy and basically, you know, leave FaZe. And the thing, the huge reason why I said no was because FaZe paid for my contract out. You know, I didn't want to be a huge scumbag, be like, oh, you already paid for my contract. You know, I'm on FaZe, but guess what? I'm joining Envy now. So I ended up turning down Formal's offer, join Envy, and as soon as I joined FaZe, he joined Envy. And I was really looking forward to playing with him. I'm not gonna lie here, guys. Well, that was that. You know, he decided to do his thing. That's fine. Me, Sensor, Tito, and I believe Saints left 
and join the Nile or some crap like that. So at the time, I think we ended up picking up Parasite. You know, this is gonna be the new phase black. I'm not I'm not entirely sure, but I think our first event together was Gfinity. And we ended up placing third and fourth, which is astounding. You know, that, that's insanely good for a first time team. You know, Parasite was kind of annoying at times, but he was a good player. After that, things pretty much went, I wouldn't say downhill from there, but things changed really quick. Around that time is when Karma had the whole situation. They didn't want to play with EG anymore. So he left EG. You know, Dito joined EG and Karma ended up joining us, which was pretty hyped, but it was just like a whole weird situation. I don't remember what, but I believe we had one bad event together. We played together. We ended up placing like 9 through 12. I'm pretty sure. I, I feel like I'm wrong right now, but I'll just... I'll just go with that. And then the next event after that, which was Nashville, we ended up getting first place, which was pretty sweet. Our team was looking nice. You know, that event was so hard to win. We were in loser's bracket. We had to win two best of fives against the Nile. They were the team to beat. They got first the other event, so they got first and second. You know, this team was looking strong. And going to that game, I felt really confident. You know, I felt I had a 1v3 in the finals. Now, I was feeling so nice. I was feeling good. I felt like really confident, really prepared. The fact that we won that was crazy. Like, that was my second championship. And to, to win it that way, my God, it made my day. Either way, guys, I have pretty much about one episode left. And then that pretty much covers up my whole story, my road to pro. If you missed any of the episodes, I have one through five already, which pretty much talks about, you know, how I started my career and at the start and going up to until now. Uh, but I'm just going to end it at Ghost and I'm almost done. There's like one or two events left and then I just finished. I'll cut it right there. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel. This has been your boy Apathy and I'm out.